answer is B. The cups rise briefly and then fall to the ground because they continue their forward motion. The tension of the rubber band accelerates the cups forward. Because the rubber band protrudes forward under the cup, the cups are also set into a backward rotation as they take off. These two movements overlap. The forward motion causes air to flow past the cup. At the upper edge of the cup, the air flows with the rotational movement, while at the lower edge of the cup, it flows against the rotational movement. At the top, the air can therefore flow past the cup more quickly, while at the bottom, it is impeded by frictional forces. According to Bernoulli's principle, this means that the air pressure on the top of the cup is lower than on the bottom. Overall, the cups experience an upward force and are slowed down by air friction. After a short movement, the rotational speed of the cups is too low to maintain the effect. The cups continue to move forward, but sink gently to the ground.